Hi traders, my name is Nicola and today I'm going to talk about the traders frequently asked question. It's a secret that I'm coaching a new traders for a while now and my email is definitely getting a lot of emails from a new traders. Yesterday I got interesting email from a one trader and a few questions they really pop up so I decided okay instead of just helping that person I'm going to make a video and try to help more traders because I found that a lot of new traders usually ask you the same thing. So the first question is why is trader psychology an important factor in trading? To answer this the easiest way would be to tell you that learning how to read the market is that easy part. You can learn how to predict the next market move in less than a month. But entering a trade and holding that trade open is definitely much harder part because your emotions will start kicking in and you are constantly going to start questioning yourself and your idea. Now, what I found for me to work the best is try to create as much automate process for of taking a trade as I can. For example, my new system that I'm currently using Forex Master Levels have more or less everything automated, like finding the signals. I have that part automated so I don't waste time or qu start questioning myself if this is the right setup or not right the setup. After that, the next part of confirming that signal, I made that automated so I don't need to think if I'm right or wrong. I have my algos working on that part for me. And if I want to be perfect in the opening and not risking a lot of money so my, my mind can handle that easily, I have the EA that will open the trade according to my system rules. And that's why I think that psychology is really important factor. Since if you are not in the best mood right now and you start trading and you start, start getting afraid of your trading, you are never, but never going to end the day in a profit. The next question is, what is day trading versus swing trading? Day trading refers to a trading style where traders like to open multiple positions every single day and on average that their trades are going to last from a few minutes all the way to a few hours while the swing trading is more slower style where traders open less trades but on average their trade lasts from a few hours all the way to a few days. The next question is how to trade with a full-time job. What rate of return is realistic to expect when you have a full-time job? Now you really don't need to let's say be a full-time trader to make a decent income. I knew, let's say, over the last few years, I coached over two or three thousand people. That's really a huge amount of number. But what was interesting to me was that I think 95% of them, when we started, had a full time job. And for me, that was a little bit of challenging because I wanted them to work a little bit and that was hard. But what I realized after a few years was that people that had a full-time job made much more progress than the people that were unemployed and had, had a full time in front of screen. And I really think that you can make a decent income with a full-time job. Only thing that is going to be slightly different is going to be your trading style. 
either you are going to focus to trade a one to two hours every single day and use that day trading or trying to use a swing trading and trying to build that portfolio that will last for a few weeks so you don't need to constantly monitor the market but trying to trade for example a few hours in the morning few hours in the evening or while you are in a break is never going to work but if you let's say go back home from work at let's say 4 p.m you start trading from five to seven and if you make trades fine if you don't find anything fine and move on to the next day about the rate of return definitely that is a little bit subjective for me i always like to tell especially new traders that they should always aim for something like 10 to 15 percent for start just to make sure that they don't over risk and it's something that's more or less easily achievable well if i tell you you can make a hundred percent with a full-time job you would probably be more happy but that's possible but require a lot more of work and a little bit more risk so definitely I would say 10, 15% would be ideal if you have a full-time job for start. And after that, let's say after a few months, you can increase that to 20, 30%. And that would be ideal without, let's say, exposuring your account to a potential larger drop-down. The next question is what time frame should I trade? Now this is also a little bit subjective and it's more related to your style and your system rules i try i think every single time frame out there and for a different asset the different time frames work better for me but what i can say on this question is that if you want to day trade trying to go with some smaller time frame like a 15 minute or let's say half hour time frame you should be fine while if you want to swing trade everything above one hour is going to be fine but still you should try different time frames and figure out on what time frame you can see the market clearest because at the end of the day that's really what you need to do and decide for example for me if i want to day trade i'm going to find a lot more opportunities on that 15 minute time frame compared if i look the one hour time frame because on the one hour time frame i'm only going to have what 24 bars and on the 15 minute chart i'm going to have four times that so definitely much more opportunities of course it doesn't mean you can go on let's say one minute chart because you will have the most opportunities but i think the sweet spot is around the 15 and a half hour for the day traders and one to four hours for a swing traders how much money do you need to have to make a living from trading this question is again subject because everyone have a different goals. Someone would be happy with, let's say, $1,000 per month. Someone need, let's say, $10,000. So what I suggest is just to use that idea of what's the realistic amount of the profit that you can make like 10 15 percent even 20 percent so for example if you want to make let's say the hundred dollars hundred dollars every month as the extra money for your spending then let's say then we say this is 10 percent a win so a thousand dollar account would be fine so use that simple calculation it's much easier but at the end of the day you need to 
know that you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. I don't say you will lose your account, but to feel best, like you don't have that much fear while you're opening a trade, you should only be trading the money that you can afford to lose. Final question for today's is risk reward ratio important over winning percentage and vice versa? Now, this is really the great question because I see a lot of traders and they so called like guru systems, they suggesting the risk reward of one to one. So if you risk $100, you are aiming to make $100. And that's fine if you can achieve a great winning percent rate. But usually when you start trading for the first few months, you can't get some great winning percentage. Usually in my experience, new traders for the first few months get 40 to 50%. And with a one-to-one -one risk reward, you are breaking even or slightly in loss and they just drop your confidence. And for me, I'm not going to trade if I can't get personally one to two risk rewards. So if I'm risking $100, I know that I'm aiming to make $200 because I don't see the reason why if I'm going to risk $100, I should only win $100 because this way I'm going to allow myself, even if I don't have a good week, to end the week in a profit. So for example, if you make five trades on a one to two risk reward and you lose five trades, in the same week, definitely you are going to end the week in a profit. But if you do the same thing with a one-to-one -one risk reward, you are breaking even. And I don't like that. I always like to end the week even with a, let's say, $1 profit, but it's in the plus side. So definitely try to use the risk reward that's higher than one-two. So one-two is your minimum and higher, of course. Don't try to go something like 110, 120. That's again unrealistic. But 1213 is definitely that sweet spot that you can easily get and would really give you the chance to have okay winning percentage for the first few months. And after you master your strategy and you start seeing that profits coming in every single day or week you will have more confidence and automatically your winning percentage is going to increase. And with that, you're going to see more and more profits on your account. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of the videos, I have a really a lot more questions, but if you like this kind of videos, just hit that like button. And if you get some likes, I will start making this kind of the videos every single week. Good luck and have a great day.